Hey guys, uh, welcome to, I can't even describe what kind of a massive haul this is. Uh, just a, a quick synopsis as to what it was going on. I took a road trip uh, to Florida. Uh, my a family flew down and I drove down from New York. Um, we needed a car down there because we were going to be all over the place and the um, you know, just the price of renting cars right now is crazy and we were going to be down there for about a week and a half. So we were going to need a car the whole time. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to drive down so we can have the car. And I figured I'd take advantage of that by turning that into a massive toy hunt, which, um, you guys have seen, you know, little bits and pieces. I've done like little, uh, videos of the uh, hunts uh, so far, but Right now, I'm going to show everything which I've uh, picked up from these hunts. Um, and on top of a what I got in North Carolina with Man Cave and with Grimsey in Florida, uh, on those uh, two big hunts, I also was able to stop at um, you know various stores, Walmart's Targets, which I didn't actually get footage of, but I was able to uh, snag some stuff there. And on top of all that, I uh, got a ton of stuff in the mail over the last two weeks while we were gone. So on top of everything I got, I got about nine boxes of stuff in the mail that came during this entire time period. So this, I, I honestly don't even know where I'm going to put all this stuff, but I'll figure that out. Um, I'm, I got some major pieces here, like Primo uh is stuff so i'm gonna leave that towards the end of the video but the rest of this is really good stuff too but the really top of the line stuff i'll uh, wait to the end of the video so without any further rambling i will get started so the first thing which uh, i got this one was at a store in north carolina i think this was at needless toys and that is the um war for cybertron um galvatron this is just an amazing piece. Man Cave actually has this piece loose and it looks phenomenal out of box. Next is my pile of Star Wars stuff. And the first thing is the uh, from the retro collection, uh, the Cara Dune figure. It's actually the only one that I'm missing from that set. Uh, I got this actually in um, Disney Springs on my toy hunt there. Next is, I always really loved this line and I never had Chewbacca. And it is from the original trilogy collection line uh, from Return of the Jedi, Chewbacca. Just a great looking Chewbacca figure. This one I got from, from Back in Time Collectibles. And it is the uh, prototype uh, armor Boba Fett Black Series. Now it's not in the greatest condition and it is actually missing his gun, which, you know, because it's actually open, but I can you know, track that down. It's not a big deal, but uh, the price I paid for this reflects the defects in it, but uh, it's definitely a figure that I always wanted. This one was a Target purchase online, actually. And this came online while we were gone, and it is the Hondo Anoka. This came from Target, it went back up online at Target, so I was able to grab it. This one I also got from Disney Springs, and it is the Smuggler's Run 4-pack for the Black Series. And it opens up. It's uh, Hondo Noka, the Porgs, Ray, and obviously Chewbacca. And this one is what I got at Emerald City Comics with uh, Grimsy 42. And it is uh, the Han Solo from my Empire Strikes Back, uh, basically the Minoc hunt. Let's see if I can open this up. Without really opening this up any further. It's a really cool piece. OK, 
Okay. Next is uh, some wrestlers that I've picked up along the way. This one I found at a Target. And it's from the Legends uh, Series, Series 11, uh, Big John Stud. There was a uh, good big man, had some feuds with Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Next, uh, these actually came in the mail while I was gone, and these just look phenomenal. <laughs> I, these Ultimate Edition figures uh, that Mattel is putting out are just incredible. And here's John Cena. Also, the great one himself, the Brahma Bull, the Rock. And this one is a two pack of. I, this was one of the best, like, rock um, angles that he did with uh, Mick Foley, and it was the Rock and Sock connection. I mean, this just looks incredible. It is so nice. This was from Ringside Collectibles. All right, next is uh, some DC stuff that I got. Um, first up, I got this from uh, Needless Toys, and it is from Batman Year Two, The Reaper. One of my favorite uh, Batman storylines. A really nice uh, figure. And if you guys have never read Batman Year Two, I highly recommend it. It's um, it's a great story. And he's uh, the Reaper is a great villain. Next is uh, from the DC Multiverse McFarlane figure uh, from the Justice League. And this is the Justice League Batman. And this came uh, in the mail while I was gone. And this one is one of the coolest. This is probably the best McFarlane uh, DC figure to date. No joke. Um, it, I, I was blown away when I saw this. I actually saw this. Uh, this came in the mail. And I saw this at a GameStop while I was um, away. But I knew I, it was coming in the mail, so I didn't get it. But um, I was when I saw it in the store, I, I, I just couldn't believe my eyes how incredible this figure is. And it's huge. And it's uh, from Justice League. It's Dark Side. And guys, just check this guy out. I mean, he's humongous. Just to give you a point of reference. Amazing, amazing looking figure. And this I found at a Walmart uh, during my trip away. And it is from also the multiverse. It's from um, the video game Arkham Asylum. It's uh, Batman and the Joker two-pack. Awesome two-pack. All right, next is going to be uh, some Masters of the Universe uh, Origins figures that I was able to get. Uh, first one, this came in the mail. This came from Entertainment Earth, and it is Fisto. Next, uh, I got this from um, Man Cave. He was actually able to pick this up for me. And it is the uh, Merman. And Man Cave was able to get this for me as well. And this figure just, this actually might be my favorite of the uh, Origins line. It is the uh, Faker. Incredible looking figure. All right, these next two I found at Walmart. Um, I didn't go crazy on this series in general, but I wanted to get a few of my favorite wrestlers. I already had Roddy Piper from this series, but I wanted these two also, and I found them on the pegs. And it is uh, from the Masters of the Universe WWE line, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Great looking figures. Okay. 
these also I believe I found at uh, I think Walmart and it is uh, the two figures from the boys uh, Homelander and Starlight. All right, uh, let's see. All right, next is we're gonna delve into Marvel. Uh, this one is an amazing looking figure. This is probably one of the best Venom figures I've ever seen. And it is uh, from the Marvel Legends. Uh, this is the Venom from the movie. Just check him out. Just looks absolutely incredible. The art, this just looks, there's no words. This one, I saw Man Cave actually do a review of this uh, on his channel before I even knew him. And uh, I thought it looked amazing, and uh, I was able to snag it in North Carolina at a store called Rebel Base, and it is uh, Marvel's Toxin. Incredible looking figure. Like, I'm almost tempted to open them up. A lot of these I'm actually tempted to open up. Man Cave has all his stuff uh, opened up, and obviously I'm mostly an mint on card collector as is evidenced as by all my stuff but the way he has everything displayed uh and curated is just incredible i and it really has given me some ideas and has made me like want to like open some stuff up not sure if i'm going to but uh it's definitely got me thinking that's for sure this i got from man cave actually um it is from the old Toy Biz Marvel Legends line, uh, the Spider-Man. Great looking uh, figure. This is really cool. And next, uh, I got this, I honestly I don't remember which store I got this in. I saw it a few times over the course of the North Carolina um, toy hunt. Uh, so it was either at Needless Toys or, or Gamer's Alley, I can't remember which. And this is a figure that I've wanted for a long, long time. And a buddy of mine, Chris, knows it because every time I go to his house and see it on his wall, I just stand there and stare at it because it's just such a cool looking figure. It is the Marvel Legends uh, Toy Biz Phoenix. Incredible looking figure, just unbelievable. I love the, these old uh, Marvel Legends Toy Biz. I have a bunch of them. Uh, but now I'm kind of filling in the gaps of ones that I never picked up for whatever reason. All right. This I found at, um, also in Disney Springs. It's from the new, or new wave, excuse me. It's the Grey Hulk from, uh, the three and three quarters line. Marvel Legends. They had the whole line. I'm, I'm only getting a few of these figures here and there. Only of the ones I care about. Uh, these two figures I got, I believe, at Red Genesis in North Carolina. And it was Toy Biz uh, Spider-Man original. And Venom. Really, really cool looking figures. And original uh, from... 1994 in really nice condition also a quick pickup at Walmart uh, these are actually really hard to find and are going for a decent amount on the secondary market and it is the um, Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons for uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword I needed a new pair of Joy-Cons anyway so this will uh, serve a, new, a good purpose and plus it's you know a rare one so it's good to have. Next is G.I. Joe uh, figures. And 
Man Cave and I were both looking at the, the 25th anniversary figures, and these figures are just phenomenal. Uh, I don't know how deep I'm going to go into them, but uh, I picked up a few which I liked, and they're both Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is one of my favorite characters. As you know, he's a lot of people's favorite character. So this is the uh, Snake Eyes with uh, Timber, and I believe this is the variant with the uh, white uh, Timber. Really cool looking. And here it actually came in a protective case, uh, just the regular snake eyes from the 25th anniversary. Next is a couple of classified figures which I got. Um, both of these I actually got from Man Cave. He was able to hunt these down for me. Uh, Firefly. Really cool looking figure. And I still have not been able to find this one in the store. I know people find them all the time. I've yet to come across them in my area. Uh, Major Blood. So uh, those are kind of the regular pickups, I guess. So next I'm gonna delve into the real kind of heavy hitters. So stay tuned. So one of the things I got was this Luke Skywalker hot toy. The Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi. Looks freaking awesome. This is actually one of the other hot toys that I have, the 89 Batman. And I got this Optimus Prime. This one I got from Back in Time Collectibles as well. So I got those two pieces while on the trip. All right, so I just showed you guys um, the hot toy Luke Skywalker that I got. It came in this uh, box. Has a lot of options uh, for clothes and stuff. And some really neat accessories. put on his vest and take off the uh, cloak and it also comes with the bone from uh, Jabba's palace when he's thrown into the rancor pit which is really neat so yeah so this one is uh, it's a lot of neat options with it so glad to have that and the Optimus Prime which I got was this Wee Jang uh, Optimus Prime it's a third party license but it's basically like a masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime so I'll obviously save those boxes this arrived from uh, Comic Mint uh, while I was gone and I just loved the cover to this so I was like you know what they offer uh, getting uh, 9.8's graded. It's a Ultimate Fallout 4 cover homage. It's a uh, Miles Morales number 25 variant of the uh, from the Clone Saga. It's the uh, Comic Mint exclusive variant. And obviously again 9.8. So they do our these kind of things every once in a while and this cost me I think about like $90 so not terrible next uh, I got this from man cave it is a um, again one of the coolest things I've gotten on this trip um, I I already have a one of a similar figure pre-ordered from Street Fighter a Ryu but this is a scorpion from storm collectibles Just amazing, <laughs> just amazing. And you can see all the various options in the back as to how you can set them up. I'll probably pop this one open uh, because, and just to display them. It, I'll, yeah, I'll pop this open. When I get the Ryu, I'll kind of have a Street Fighter and a Mortal Kombat next to each other of my two favorite um, characters from each respective franchise. So last but not least, this is my favorite piece that I've gotten 
out of everything. Now, I never, I never really saw this before. Uh, it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive from I want to say 2019. Man Cave had this, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Holy cow! I need to get this thing." So I immediately went and well, <laughs> looked it up on eBay. Um, it's a little pricey, but it was one of those things where I was like, I need to have this in my collection. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I grabbed it on eBay and it was here waiting for me when I got home. And it is a masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, this was 2019, it says right here. So 2019, uh, collaboration with uh, Ghostbusters. So it's a Ghostbusters Optimus Prime truck. And what's really incredible about it is it's basically like a proton pack. And what's even more cool is it comes with little straps here four straps, one in each corner, where you can actually put it on your back and carry it around like a proton pack if you so were inclined to. I wouldn't do that, but uh, yeah. But this is a heavy duty Optimus Prime. I mean, this is just incredible. Uh, it's much bigger than the regular Optimus Prime. Um, so it's, it stands about nine inches if it's fully transformed. Uh, so it's uh, it's really just pretty spectacular. Um, this is one of as it's one of my favorite things in my collection already. I, I I just as soon as I opened it up, I just couldn't stop looking at it. It's just so incredible. If if the box wasn't so neat, like I'd really be tempted to open it, but I can't. The box itself, like the entire presentation of it, is just. It's just so spectacular. I, I can't bring myself to do it. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a centerpiece in my entire collection at this point. And actually, I do have one more thing. One more thing. I, I uh, had it over here on the side. I didn't uh, quite see it. It was it's actually the one Ninja Turtles piece that I got. And... I got this at, uh, I believe, Gamer's Alley, if I'm not mistaken. And it was the Super 7 uh, Shredder, which just looks unbelievable. First of all, it's really cool packaging. But, let me take it out. Check it out. Just incredible. So seeing the high quality of this, I immediately, being the um, addictive personality that I am, I went and ordered a bunch more from the series on Entertainment Earth um, and Big Back Toy Store, whichever ones were available. Uh, so yeah, so that is it. That is the massive toy hunt. I, like I seriously have no idea where I'm going to put all this stuff. This is going to be a project for the next uh, couple days. So guys, let me know what you thought. What is uh, your favorite thing that I picked up? Um, I know it's a lot. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. It means a lot. The channel is definitely picking up uh, some steam. I'm very happy about that. Uh, please be sure to comment on the video again. Let me know what you guys thought. What some of the favorite pieces uh, from all this uh, a haul that you saw. Um, Please like, again, uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not. I'm very close to 500 subscribers, which uh, would be amazing. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, it's It really reinvigorates uh, my passion for uh, collecting because it's a way to uh, share the collection, which is part of what's cool about collecting and interacting with other collectors. Uh, I've always loved doing that and I've made some awesome friends um, throughout the years in gaming, uh, now toys, comics, uh, in all forms of collecting and just some awesome people and I've made just some incredible friends. So uh, again, uh, that's it. So till next time guys, take care.